Hello, my name is Kestutis and today we will learn how to make an e-commerce website. Before we begin with the steps on how to make an e-commerce website, let's start by understanding what e-commerce stands for. E-commerce stands for electronic commerce, which refers to all transactions completed electronically. However, most people use the term e-commerce to refer to online shopping. The global e-commerce market continues to grow every year. So, to stand out from your competitors, it is important to know all the necessary steps and elements for creating your site. Not only that, but these steps will also help you make a successful e-commerce website. So, here are 10 easy steps on how to make an e-commerce website. We will also share tips on optimization and important elements to remember. Now, in order to go online, you will need web hosting. It is crucial to pick a reliable hosting provider and plan. Why? Because choosing an unreliable hosting plan can slow down your website, damaging user experience and your brand. Nobody wants to deal with a slow website when trying to make a purchase. So here are some elements that you should consider when deciding what hosting plan to get. First, consider the storage and bandwidth needs. How many pictures, videos, or any other files do you plan to have on your website? Make sure to consider its scalability as well, so your e-commerce website has plenty of room to grow. Then, check the web host's uptime. The uptime is very important because if you use an unstable web server with frequent and unexpected downtime, it will damage your brand's reliability. We recommend using web hosting provider that offers 99.9% .9 uptime. Another essential element is security. An e-commerce website needs to be trustworthy and safe, as customers will provide their personal information when purchasing. Your web hosting provider should offer advanced security measures to protect your site from malware or malicious attacks. Lastly, it is essential to check the host customer support. Remember that an e-commerce website is open 24-7 to customers. As a business owner, you want to be able to fix any issues right away. So, around-the-clock customer or technical support will come in handy if your website experiences unexpected crashes or security breaches. Hostinger offers multiple hosting options and plans. For smaller e-commerce businesses, we recommend getting shared hosting. However, if you expect high traffic and need more storage space for images and videos, we recommend using cloud hosting instead. Some of our plans also come with a free domain name registration, so keep an eye out for that. As an added bonus, you can use the discount code HA10 to get an even more attractive price. Branding is very important for any e-commerce website, and a domain name can really influence it. A great domain name is simple and easy to remember. With an e-commerce website, the easiest way to choose a domain name for it is using your business name. However, you will still need to decide how to use your business name as a domain name. For example, will you only use the abbreviation? Or do you want to include the full business name? Also, consider whether to include your industry, like adding the word bakery or store to the domain name. Those are the main elements to consider. After that, you need to select an extension for your domain name. Even though .com is the most popular extension, there are other options that can help to make your domain name more unique and memorable. Once you have an idea for your domain name, check its availability. At Hostinger, we have a domain name checker tool to help you find out the availability for your domain name. To use this tool, simply insert your desired domain name and click on search. The tool will show you if the domain name is available, including which extensions you can use with it. If the domain name is not available, it will show you a couple of alternatives similar to your desired domain. Remember that you cannot change a domain name after registering it, unless you register a new domain separately. So choose wisely. Now that you have a domain name for your e-commerce website, let's move on to the next step. When choosing a platform, you should consider its cost, features, and learning curve. Multiple platforms are available to help you make an e-commerce website, such as WordPress and PrestaShop. Most of these platforms come with store management tools and payment gateways set up already on your dashboard. Of course, each platform has its own benefits and downsides. To find the most suitable platform for your needs, check out our review of the best e-commerce platforms in the description below. In this tutorial, we will use WordPress. 
WordPress is the most popular content management system and offers excellence, flexibility, and scalability. But if you choose to use a different platform, you can still follow this tutorial as the basic steps are still the same. Did you decide on a platform? If so, let's go to the next step. Now that you have an e-commerce platform to create a site, it is time to install e-commerce plugins and extensions. If you're using WordPress, we highly recommend using the WooCommerce plugin. WooCommerce is an open source e-commerce platform that adds e-commerce tools to your site, such as inventory management and payment gateways. It has an easy setup and even offers optional extensions, including store management, shipping and marketing tools. After installing WooCommerce, make sure to set up your store, selecting its industry, product types, and business details. There are multiple other plugins that are super handy to have when running an e-commerce store. To learn more about them, check out our list of best WordPress e-commerce plugins, which is available in the description below. A good rule of thumb is to avoid installing too many plugins. You really shouldn't install two or more plugins for the same task. Having too many plugins can slow down your website. After installing and activating your plugins, it is time to select the theme. An e-commerce website theme is often different from a regular website theme. While it is possible to use a regular theme, I recommend using a theme designed for an online store. That's because it often includes product pages, a shopping cart, and a confirmation page, which can help you save time when customizing the site. Some of the elements to consider when selecting an e-commerce theme are First, you want a theme that integrates with your e-commerce platform and already includes features like checkout pages and shopping carts. Another element to consider is the theme's mobile responsiveness. It is essential that your store's design works well on different devices. Lastly, look for a lightweight theme to avoid slowing down your site. A theme with multiple unnecessary image and animation files tends to be heavy. If you are not sure where to find the best WordPress e-commerce themes, take a look at our recommendations link in the article in the description below. After selecting a theme, don't forget to customize it to suit your brand. Make sure to adjust the color, font, and images accordingly. Also change the headers, footers, and widgets with the appropriate information. When you install a theme, it will come with a couple of example pages. Check these example pages and customize each one accordingly. Once you have all pages ready, it is time to add your products and services. No matter what you are selling, the products page is one of the most important parts of your e-commerce website. It needs to include all the necessary details on what you are selling and the price. When customers see your products page, it will help determine whether they will move forward with their purchase. Each e-commerce platform offers its own way of adding products, but the steps are often similar. Let's go back to WooCommerce. The plugin offers these three options. First is physical products. These are tangible items that you can deliver to customers. The second type is digital products, which means items that customers can download or access through your website. And finally, you can also add variable products, which are products with several versions that customers can choose from. There are also different ways to add your products. To make things easier and faster, there is an option to start with a template. Simply choose the type of product you are selling and WooCommerce will redirect you to an editor that includes all necessary sections for your products or service details. Another option is to add manually. We recommend it for small stores that do not have that many products and want to ensure that each product page includes detailed and personalized information. If you have a large online store with hundreds of products, it's better to add them using the import via CSV option. A CSV is a comma separated values file that includes information about multiple products. Lastly, import from another service is a great option for stores that already sell on another platform. Instead of adding your products again, you can simply use the information from the other platform. After you add all of your products, you can set up the payment methods. One of the most important elements when making an e-commerce website is the payment gateways you will use. The payment methods you will offer to your customers must be secure and accessible. 
Remember, you want to create a seamless shopping experience for your customers and ensure that they complete their purchases without issues. There are multiple ways to start accepting online payments. First, let's talk about redirect. This method leads the customer to another website to make the payment. For example, your store can redirect customers to the PayPal website when they select PayPal as their payment method. Another option is off-site payment. This is when customers pay outside the website and send you proof of payment. Some examples are making ATM transfers or paying with cash on delivery. With on-site payment, customers don't leave the website. This is option gives you more control and responsibility over the checkout process. It is possible to have more than one payment gateway. Choose the option that offers the most convenient payment method for both your business and its customers. Let's look back at our example. WooCommerce offers all of the methods that we mentioned. If you click on Set up Payments button, it will give you the option to set up PayPal payments, direct bank transfers, and turn on the cash on delivery option. If you want to add a different payment method, plugins can help you set them up. Whichever payment method you choose, ensure that they are secure and trustworthy. Some elements to consider when setting up your payment methods are First, the currency. Are you running a local store or an international store? What options are you giving to customers when it comes to different currencies? You need to answer these questions before setting up a payment method. Then consider the shipping rates. How do you calculate them? With WooCommerce, you can include your store's address and it will help you set up basic shipping costs. Another aspect to consider is taxes. You will need to decide whether to include the taxes in the product price or during the checkout. With WooCommerce, you can set up the taxes rates using Avalara. After setting up the payment methods, make sure that the checkout and payment processes are clear and won't cause any issues. The next step is to secure your website, which is essential for an e-commerce store. As mentioned before, customers need to trust you to purchase your products or services. If customers feel that your website is not secure, they won't complete their purchases. So, how do you secure your e-commerce website? First, include two-factor authentication or 2FA for both admin and customer logins to add an extra layer of security. WordPress has a built-in 2FA tool, but you can also get a plugin to improve that functionality. Another way to secure your website is by scanning it for malware regularly. Make sure that any viruses, spyware, or ransomware will be detected the second they try to get to your website, as they all can be incredibly harmful. Check out the article in the description below to learn more about performing a malware scan on your WordPress website. Lastly, limit login attempts, especially for customer accounts. It is common for businesses to ask customers to create accounts on their websites. However, we need to ensure that their personal information is secure. So by limiting the number of times they can log in, you avoid brute force attacks. After implementing security measures, it is time to think about promoting your website. Social media integration encourages customers to share your products and services on their pages. Each social media platform also has its own target audience, helping to expand your reach. There are plugins such as blog to social and social media buttons by MassShare that help integrate social media profiles into your e-commerce website. Some plugins can even include your social media posts on the website, so your customers are encouraged to check your profiles and follow them. Other than connecting with your social media accounts, another way to promote your website is using email marketing. Send newsletters with news and promotions directly to the customers' inboxes. If you want to learn more about it, watch our webinar on how to use social media to grow your brand and business. Now that you know how to promote your website to a broader audience, it is time to go online. But before that, make sure to check your e-commerce website to avoid any errors and complaints. Before launching the shop, it is important to look at your e-commerce website from the customer's point of view. Are all processes clear? Are there any confusing details? To answer that, you can even ask your friends and family to take a look at your website and give feedback. It is critical to try and make a purchase on your store to see if everything works properly. Once you go online, you want to give the best experience for your customers. So to help you out, here are some elements to look into before going live. First, take a look at the site's design. Is it consistent throughout the whole website? 
Make sure to look for at each page to see if the colors, fonts, and images align with your branding. Next, check the performance of your website. You have to wait for more than 3 seconds for the website to load. If you do, it means your website is not fast enough and you will need to make some adjustments to improve the site speed. Use a speed testing tool such as GT Metrics to check the site's performance and receive insights into how to improve it. Now check the navigation. Follow the customer's journey from looking through your products or services to making a purchase. The goal here is to ensure that the customer is able to buy your products with ease. Another element to consider is mobile friendliness. Open your phone and access your website. Is the content and design mobile friendly? Are you able to make a purchase from your phone? These are essential elements of a successful e-commerce website. Then check all contacts and links. Ensure that all contact information is correct and that the customers can easily reach out to you. Also click on all the links on your website to check if there are any issues. Lastly, read through everything again. Look for any grammatical errors or inconsistencies with the site's content. Make sure all the images and videos are optimized and placed correctly. If they are, then you are ready to go online. So now you know how to make an e-commerce website and what elements you need to consider in the process. To recap, here are the steps to create a functional e-commerce website. First, get a reliable hosting plan. Look for a secure hosting provider with great customer support and high uptime. Second, choose a domain name. It must be easy to remember and suit your business. Select a platform. There are many e-commerce platforms available to help you make an online store. Pick the one that best suits your needs. Next, install e-commerce plugins to help optimize your online store's features. After that, select and customize the site's theme. Make sure it includes all the necessary pages for your store. Then, you are ready to add your products and set up payment methods. Ensure your website is secure. Since customers will provide their personal and payment details, it is essential to handle that information with care. Once you secure your website, promote it by connecting it to social media platforms. Lastly, recheck everything before going online. Simple and easy, right? Now it is time to make your own e-commerce website and start selling online. Let us know in the comments what type of online store you are making. Let me know if you find this video helpful building your e-commerce website. Don't forget to also like the video and subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more awesome tutorials like this one. Until then, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.